Today I'm very pleased to be joined by the Senior Vice President of the Lehigh Valley Health Network, also the President of the Northwest Region for the hospital system as well. I'm pleased to be joined by Terry Purcell. Terry, thank you so much for being here. It's a pleasure to have you in our studios. It's my pleasure to be on the show and thank you for inviting me. I am very glad. Now, I want you to tell us, first of all, a little bit about yourself. Then we'll get into the big title and what all you do for the hospital network. Uh, so uh, I'm actually a local person. I grew up in Monoy City. I didn't move far. I moved uh, to Barnesville, and I've lived there for the last 37 years. Um, my first job was in Hazleton. I was working in HR at the old St. Joe's Hospital. Uh, so that's where I got my start in health care and in human resources. I was here for a few years, moved on to uh, Schuylkill County to what's our, now our Lehigh Valley Schuylkill campus. I spent six years there, and then I spent almost 30 years down in the Lehigh Market, all working in healthcare, in human resources, and in administration. So you really must like it. <laughs> I love it. It's a great job, great people. I get to interact with a lot of great people in the hospital and in the community, so I thoroughly enjoy what I do. Now we saw you were also previously president of Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton, along with the title that you have now, so juggling a lot on your plate. Now uh, a new uh, president was brought in to allow you to focus on the concerns that you have for the big job that you already have. So tell us what some of the duties, I guess, and responsibilities that you have and the coverage area for you as well. Uh, so I'm the president of North Northwest Region. That includes Hazleton, Schuylkill, and our new hospital in Carbon. Uh, um, you know, it's a big job. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. I get to travel through our locations. But we decided we needed someone to be there full time at Hazleton. Uh, so we did a, a national search and we uh, actually were able to recruit Tammy Torres to join us. Uh, she joined us. She was working in the uh, New Jersey market and the Chester market and she started four weeks ago and we were just so fortunate to be able to recruit somebody with her experience and capabilities. Uh, she's already in, in four weeks she's already making some positive improvements and enhancements and we think she's going to be a tremendous success to managing the day-to-day -day operations in Hazleton. I will still be very involved in Hazleton. Um, I plan to be here at least two days a week. Uh, I'll be focusing at all three campuses on strategy and growth. Um, Hazleton, all of our three campuses continue to grow rapidly. and We need someone just to be dedicated and focused on growing the region. So I'll still be responsible for all three hospitals, but my goal is to continue the growth that we've had. As you can see, we've had tremendous growth. Uh, we're opening our new cancer center in the next couple of weeks. Uh, we've recruited over 25 new providers to the market. Uh, and we're going to continue that growth because patients want to come to Hazleton. They want to get their health care in Hazleton and not have to travel outside the market. So our goal is to grow and enhance the services that are available locally. I know with all of the people I've spoken to from the health network over the years, they want to make sure people don't have to be traveling, and they don't because everything is local and in this area, and now even more so because we have, like you said, so many different campuses. Exactly. Um, Luzerne County has the fifth highest death rate from cancer. In, the United, in Pennsylvania right now. So it was a concern from our leadership locally, a concern from our leadership in Allentown, and they wanted to do something uh, to enhance the, the level of cancer care locally. And when we made this announcement, you would not believe how many patients in the community came up to me and said they're so happy we're doing this because I had to drive to Allentown three days a week, five days a week for my treatment. And also what's exciting, we're gonna have the same technology available locally that we have at our main cancer center in Allentown. So the technology is going to be second to none. And um, the, the team of providers that we have are very experienced. Uh, we have a great local leader who's going to oversee our cancer center. So we're just very excited because we know this is definitely going to make a positive impact on the Hazleton community and the Northwest region. We're going to serve Schuylkill County. We're going to serve Carbon County. And this is going to be a, a true regional asset for our area. How have things changed since COVID? Like, have, has the hospital system and all hospital systems had to do things differently because of COVID? Uh, we had to do things differently because of COVID. There were some things that we learned that we want to keep. For example, Telemedicine, Lehigh Valley has been the leader in telemedicine for years. And we've uh, had such a strong platform, we were able to roll out our telemedicine services. and. Uh, I think that's been one very positive improvement. Uh, we got better at scheduling. We got better. Uh, we got better at a lot of different things to make it better for the patient and providing excellent care and keeping everybody safe. We could talk for a long time. That six minutes that we do goes very quickly. 
For our viewers right now, what's the main thing you want them to know about Lehigh Valley Hospital Network and particularly Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton? I, I think the most impressive thing um, with Lehigh Valley Hazleton is our quality and patient safety. Um, every, every patient that comes here wants to get better. They want to be taken care of in a safe manner. We were recently given a leapfrog A for our patient safety. We're so proud of that. And we're also a four-star CMS rated hospital. So it just shows that at Hazleton there's a, com a continuous focus on improving quality, improving patient care, and improving patient safety. So you're going to be taken care of in a very safe environment by outstanding providers. Well, it's been a pleasure talking with you today. I hope you'll come back again and keep us up to date. And we look forward to seeing you at the grand opening for the new cancer center. Thank you for having me, and I'm, I'll always come back when you need me. Thank you so much.